I can't believe that I have made it halfway through the semester and I have not recorded one video to put my face in front of you. And I would be remiss in saying that I would have done this a lot sooner, but here I am, eight weeks into the session, and finally recording the first video for you all. My name is Dr. Pitt, and for those of you who I have not met face-to-face, -face, this is the face behind all of the assignments and emails and grading. Uh, for those of you who I have in class already, hello again, hope all is going well. I wanted to just record a short video before spring break and wish you a good spring break. Have a relaxing one. I know that it's the first week of March and it, there's still snow on the ground, but maybe some of you are off to more pleasant lands than Northwest Ohio. For those of you who are staying in Northwest Ohio or going home to snow, make the most of your time and relax and get caught up. So speaking of getting caught up, you should have noticed by now that the module, module eight, is has a two week time period. So you have spring break to work on it. And I have just opened up module nine now. So you're gonna have a two week uh, time period for that as well. So um, that will be due when module nine is due. It's just it's open a week early. So you'll have two modules that are open right now, modules eight and nine. And due date for eight is the Sunday that you are back from spring break. And nine is due the Sunday after you get back from spring break. So that gives you some time to work on the assignments. There is a video that you need to watch for module nine. It's about a five and a half to six minute video. And the extended response is based on that. I think the discussion board is too. Um, I am not 100%, so don't quote me on that. Um, so make sure that you are in a place where you can watch the video and there are some specific questions about that video. Um, you are going to be working on your article summaries here soon. And what I want you to be looking for is in these articles, anything that we've been talking about that has piqued your interest. Um, but I want you to look at it from the opposite gender with which you identify. So um, if you identify on a binary uh, scale or a binary um, form, it's either male or female. And if you identify as female, you're going to be looking for articles that deal with the male perspective of aging. And if you're male and you, um, you identify male and you're going to be looking for female. Um, if you are non-binary, uh, get in contact with me and we'll discuss which uh, aspect you'd like to look at. Um, so just make sure that you are starting to look for those articles. Articles can be from any new source as long as it's reliable. So, you know, the onion is not a reliable source, obviously. Anything that's satire uh, would not be a reliable source. It does not have to be a research article. So you don't have to go and look for peer reviewed articles. But what I would be looking for is and along the lines of how a gender responds to specific aging issues or how a specific gender is treated uh, on specific aging issues. So there has to be something with gender and aging in it. Hence the reason the class is called gender and aging. Not just a an overall view of how people are affected when they retire. If the if the article breaks it down and speaks about males versus females, You'll want to note that, but also make sure that if you are identifying as female, you're focusing on the male aspect of that article as opposed to the female. Um, so just make sure that you're paying attention to those guidelines. You're going to be uh, summarizing those articles in a one and a half to two page summary. And those summaries can be in the form of the introduction, you know, this is the article that was chosen. Make sure you don't write it in the first person, write it in the third person. This is the article that was chosen based on the parameters of the assignment. The title of the article is such and such, and the article discusses and go on and talk about the article. The very last paragraph, I want you to then incorporate information that we've, we have learned in the course up until that point. So if it's something on uh, how women feel about their aging bodies, we have a lot of information on that. Um, it could be about the empty nest syndrome. It could be about retirement. 
It could be about health care or health of individuals. Uh, just as long as you're following that guideline of it's also along gender lines as well. And it has to be about the aging population. So I've, I've had a couple of classes where some students all let it go if it's just like one article, but if it's like all three articles, it has to be about that aging population. So 65 and over is how we define the aging population in gerontology. You're going to be seeing a lot of that number, a lot of times that number is going to dip down to like 50, 55. If your article is talking about 55 and over, that's okay, but not just from a viewpoint of just the general population, okay? So just make sure you're following that guideline. All right, or those guidelines, I should say. This is going to be what is your um, video presentation at the end of the semester that you're going to record. And you can record that in the uh, One Button Studio, or you can record that at, you know, someplace that is not going to distract you. Um, I've had some individuals who have had TVs on in the background or a roommate who's come in to get something to eat. I, I know that those things happen, but you know, just as long as you have a relatively distracting, distractful free uh, environment. Okay. I think that's all. Um, I've said on an awful lot. I apologize. Or I could say, okay, that's another one of my ums. I wish you the best in your spring break and I will be seeing you online in about a week and a half. All right, have a good one. I'm gonna now look down here and fumble around for the stop button. Bye.